Hey, what's going on traders? So we got a question about how do you identify impulsive and corrective price action? Okay, so since you guys asked, right, in today's video, I want to show you how do you identify them. Okay, so it's actually a very simple process, but nonetheless, it's very important when it comes to trading, right? Because if you can identify your impulsive and corrective price action, then you'll be able to be on the right side of the market majority of the time. Okay, so what am I going to cover in today's video? Okay, the first thing that I'm going to cover is why you need to understand this, right? Why even bother with identifying impulsive and corrective price action? Okay, why do you need to know this? Okay, because perhaps, uh, you know, you didn't, you didn't ask this question and you don't know anything about impulsive corrective price action. You are just wondering why do we need to know this, right? So I just want to start off this video by explaining to you why you need to know this. Okay, then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of today's video, which is how do you identify it, right? I'll give you certain characteristics of the impulsive price action, right? Give you the examples, then I follow up with the characteristics of the corrective price action, then I'll end off with some examples, okay? I'll go into the live charts to show you how to do it, okay? So let's get into uh, the first part, right? So how do you identify impulsive and corrective price action, okay? Why? Why do you do it? Okay, now if you are able to identify impulsive and corrective price action, then you can be on the right side of the market. Okay, because it allows you to predict the general direction of the market. Okay, so if you know the general direction of the market, then you are you're going you are going to trade in the right direction most of the time. Okay, here's here's the here's the thing about trading. Okay, majority of the time, an impulsive corrective wave is followed by another impulsive corrective wave in the direction of the first impulsive wave okay that's a bit mouthful uh, you may not understand that but rest assured i'm going to clarify it okay so what do i mean by that i'm going to repeat one more time okay majority of the time an impulsive corrective wave is followed by another impulsive wave in the direction of the first impulsive wave okay so let's just consider the first scenario which is a bullish impulsive wave okay so I actually wrote it over here. So let's say you see a bullish impulsive wave followed by a corrective wave, okay? What is the next movement, okay? If you see this kind of patterns in the market, then there's a very high probability that the next move is going to be the bullish impulsive wave, okay? So this is your most likely outcome, okay? So if you can identify these two waves, you can identify the bullish impulsive wave and the corrective wave, then you will know that, okay, the next movement is likely to be bullish. I want to be looking for longs, okay? So that's the power of uh, using impulsive and corrective price action, okay? So hopefully you are convinced that this will help improve your trading. Uh, hopefully you will listen, you know, you will stick around this video and learn how to identify each of these waves okay now the opposite is, is also true let's say you see a bearish impulsive wave okay you see a bearish impulsive wave and then after that you see a corrective wave okay so the question is what's the next direction of the market okay according to this theory which is actually the elliott wave theory okay uh, i actually created another video about elliott wave which i think i'll link uh link to at the top of this video okay maybe they top right so that you can check th that video out after this video okay i talk about elliott wave but i didn't specifically teach you how to identify this uh, impulsive and corrective price action okay so in today's video i will show you how to do that Okay, anyway, that, that's, that's uh, me digressing, sorry about that. But what I meant to say was that if you have a bearish impulsive wave followed by a corrective wave, then your next likely outcome is really a bearish impulsive wave. Okay, so that means that you should be looking to sell whenever you see this pattern. Okay, so by the way, right, if you are new to this channel, right, please give us a thumbs up, right, please smash that like button, help us to grow. We are trying to impact 100,000 traders just like yourself, right? Help, help, help us to grow by hitting the subscribe button as well, right? We've created a lot of videos like this to help you become a better trader, okay? We also have a free day trading guide. The link's in the description, right? Just make sure you get that also because um, this impulsive and corrective price action is not a full-blown strategy, okay? It doesn't tell you precisely how do you enter the market and how do you exit the market, right? Uh, what are the specific setups that you're looking for, okay? But our free day trading guide gives you a step-by-step -step strategy, right? We teach you the MPE strategy. So it's totally free. There's no catch, right? We're not asking for a credit card, nothing like that. It's free. So make sure you grab that, right? The link is in the description. 
Okay, so let's talk about uh, the characteristics of an impulsive price action. Okay, the first thing that you must understand is that uh, in an impulsive price action, what you see is that you normally see uh, one color, okay, predominantly one color. What do I mean by one color? Okay, that depends on your chart. Okay, if your chart is, you know, white is uh, bullish, which uh, most people are, okay, let me just, white is bullish and black is, uh, you know, white is bullish. Let me just write that out. Okay, and let's say uh, black is bearish and uh, you do see a um, kind of like a bullish impulsive bar, uh, sorry, bullish impulsive movement, then you should see most of the candles being white. Okay, that's what I mean by predominantly one color. Okay, of course, it depends on what, uh, what, what's the color of your charts. Is it white and is it black or is it white and green? Okay, it doesn't matter. But uh, the point is this, you want to see one color mainly one color okay uh there's no hard and fast rule i'm not going to give it but you know um calculate there's 80 percent 60 percent you know it doesn't matter just eyeball it okay as long as the movement is predominantly one color right it can be white it can or be black depending on your chart color then that's the impulsive price action this is the first characteristic okay but that's not all okay you need to have this other characteristics as well okay what you want to see is you also want to see a large body candle in one direction okay what do i mean by large body candle meaning that you have this kind of candles okay this kind of candles okay these are the kind of candles that you want to see you do not want to see this kind of candles like doji candles you know or you know like uh this kind Okay, you want to see big body candles. Okay, don't worry, I'll show you in the charts later. Or I'll show you in the live charts to help uh, solidify your understanding. Okay, but you want to see large body candles in one direction with price moving fast. Okay, now you also want to see the candles tend to close towards the upper or lower end of the candles range. Okay, so of course, if it's a bullish uh, impulsive wave, then uh, if this is your candle, if this is entire range of the candle, then you want to see, you know, the candle close something like this. Okay. Okay. If it's bullish, of course, you want to close towards the higher end of the candles range. If it's bearish, then uh, you want to close towards the lower range of uh, the candle. Okay. It means somewhere here. Okay. Pardon my drawing. Okay. So let's go into the charts. I want to show you some examples so that uh, you can really see how this works. Okay. So what we have over here is uh, we have the uh, Dow Jones, okay? We're on the daily chart, okay? Just, just to uh, you know, just to clarify, this works on any time frame, okay? Price is fractal, meaning that uh, the concept's always the same, regardless of whether you're looking at the H4 or you're looking at the day one, it's the same, okay? So over here, we have a very nice impulsive cat, uh, you know, series of movement, okay? So just take a pause, right? Try to understand why is this impulsive movement? Why did I identify this as a impulsive movement? Okay, maybe you want to pause this video. Okay, but let me explain to you. Okay, so you can see that this imp impulsive movement is all white candles. Okay, in my case, my charts, um, it's white. Okay, a, a bullish candle is white and a bearish candle is black. So you can see that this entire movement here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, you have six white candles. So it's predominantly one color. That's the first pointer. Okay, the second pointer is that it must be big candles. So you can see that this is a very big candle. This is a big candle. All these are all big candles. This is big candle as well. Okay, so the second criteria is also checked. Okay, and the last criteria is uh, the close. The close must be near the top. So you can see that a lot of the candles are near the top. In fact, uh, this candle here is what is known as a marubuzu, meaning that it closed right at the top over here. Okay, this is a marubuzu. This candle over here also almost close at the top with very low, uh, small upper wick. This one, not so, okay, but this one definitely yes, okay. So just size it up generally. Do not need to, you know, ask, you know, ask yourself like, oh, how many percent, right? Do not need to overcomplicate things, right? Just eyeball it, okay? As long as it looks like impulsive move and it fits these three criteria that I say, then it is a impulsive move, okay? In fact, in this example, you can see that impulsive move followed by this corrective move over here, okay? Uh, later on, I'll explain to you what corrective move is, okay? You have this corrective move, and what happens after that? It resumes in a correct, uh, impulsive move again, okay? So this is why you need to understand this uh, impulsive and corrective move because, uh, you know, it shows you the direction, okay? That brings me to uh, point number one, right? Uh, the, the thing that I started 
this video with why you need to understand impulsive and corrective move, right? Because it tells you the direction. Okay, so if you see this very nice impulsive move followed by this corrective move, then you can reasonably assume that okay, the next direction is probably going to be up and I want to be uh I want to be buying. Okay, I don't want to be selling against the impulsive move. Okay, so that's how you use it. Okay, let's let's look through some more examples uh, just to you know uh solidify your understanding. Okay. So you have it here so okay let me just uh, clear everything first okay just one more then we'll move on to the uh, corrective uh, portion okay so this area is as well is a it's an impulsive move okay you can see okay step number one or rather criteria number one is that uh, you have uh, predominantly one color so you can see that this entire move up is one color it's all bullish candles it's all white Okay, step number two is you want to see that there are big body candles, large body candles. You have large body candle, one, two, three. Okay, so it's kind of telling you that this is an impulsive move. Okay, the last char characteristic is that it closes near the top. Okay, again, this is a Marobuzu candle because it closes near the top or almost at the top. Uh, this one has very little uh, upper wick. This one, it's relatively close to the top. This one is so close to the top. This one is close to the top. So if you just do look at it at a glance, you know that this is an impulsive price action movement, okay? And then of, of course, after that, you have a corrective uh, price action over here, okay? So let's go back to uh, the lesson and I want to show you how do you identify the other type of uh, price action, which is the corrective price action, okay? Actually, it's very simple. It's just the opposite, okay? What do I mean by opposite? Meaning that um, the first thing you want to look out for is you want to look out for mixed colors, okay? You want to see a good mix of uh, white and black, okay? Just now in the uh, impulsive price action, you are looking for one color. This one is the opposite. You want to see that there is a lot of fighting, right? There is uh, white, there's black, there's white, there's black. Meaning it's bullish, it's bearish, it's bullish, it's bearish, right? There is a good fight going on, okay? And that's the meaning of a corrective price action where price is, you know, struggling, right? It's consolidating, okay? You also want to look for small body candles with tons, tons of uh, in indecision, okay? It could be, uh, you know, dojis, okay? It could be this kind of uh, patterns with very small body. Basically, the body is very small and it's, it's, it's ranging, right? It's not going, it's not, price is not moving very fast and price is going now where, okay? And you also want to see that uh, the candles close towards the middle of the candles range, okay? Again, do not need to be anal about it. Do not need to, you know, measure, just eyeball it, okay? As long as it looks something like this, Right, it, it fits these criteria, then just call it corrective price action, okay? Please do not uh, overanalyze, okay? There's really no need to, okay? So let's go back into the charts and let me show you, um, let me show you, okay? So over here, you can see that this is a corrective price action, okay? So let me just clear this and let's uh, go through this. Why is this a corrective price action, okay? Step number one, right, or rather characteristic number one is that uh, you want to see a good mix of color, okay? So ask yourself this, is there a good mix of color? Okay, the answer is yes, because there is black, there's white, there's black, there's white, there's black, there's white. In fact, over here, you see white, black, white, black, white, black, black, white, okay? So it's a very tough fight, okay? So that is a corrective price structure, right? It's, it's mix right it's not one color okay then the second one is that uh, you do not see price having very big body candles except probably this one over here okay you do not see much but generally if you just eyeball the whole pattern uh, you would think that um the bodies are not very large okay and a lot of them are forming kind of like uh you know doji meaning that the the body candle is very small okay it's very it's not like this Okay, it's not like this kind of big candles over here. It's just very small. Okay, so this is how you tell that, that there is a corrective, uh, you know, structure. Okay, in fact, in this case, let me just say that, uh, you know, this is impulsive. Okay, let me just change the color. Okay, this is impulsive. Then you have corrective, right? So normally you expect it to be impulsive again. But what happens in this case is that it's impulsive towards the downside, okay? Because this too is impulsive candle, okay? So please note that this is not foolproof. It doesn't work 100% of the time, okay? It's just a guideline. That is why you need a full-blown strategy. You cannot just watch this video and, you know, just start trading every impulsive corrective move you see. You need to have a trade setup. You need to have a trade plan, okay? And that's what we provide in our free day trading guide. So make sure you use that, right? In fact, our YouTube channel has a lot of videos about trading strategies, okay? We have 
over 100 videos and we are creating more each day. Okay, we spend a lot of money in our education and we, we are very happy to share it with you, right? We share with everything we know, right? So honestly, there is really no point in you, you know, going out there to learn from others. Just learn from us, hit the subscribe button, check out our other videos, okay? This is the value that we are trying to provide uh, to you. Okay, so this is how you do uh, the uh, corrective wave. Let me just show you one more again. And then uh, I'll just uh, do a summary and then we can just call this video a day. Okay, so maybe let's look at another currency just to show you that uh, it's consistent. Okay, uh, let's look at uh, Euro dollar. Okay. okay, let me just clear the charts. Okay, so this one over here. Okay, try to make a guess. What is this movement over here? Okay, so this movement, it's actually impulsive move followed by a big corrective move over here. Okay, so let me just change the color then I'll go uh, walk you through why this is so. Okay, so this is an uh, impulsive move very clear because it's one direction, it's all white. Okay, the candles are very big and closes near the top. Okay, this area over here, it's a corrective wave because you can see that there's a lot of black and white so you see black black white black 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 white white so you, you do see that there's a good mix here and you can see that a lot of the candles especially this region here okay it's it's very small the, the candle body is very small and it's closing in the center okay so this is a corrective structure and what happens after a corrective structure is a impulsive structure in the direction of the first movement which is in this case bullish Okay, so that's what I explained, uh, you know, at the beginning of this video, right? Uh, impulsive corrective wave is followed by another impulsive wave. Okay, so that's how you use this. Okay, so hopefully that is clear. Okay, if you know something is not clear, just let us know because uh, we love to help you, right? Just uh, leave a comment down below. Uh, tell us the struggles that you are facing, you know, you can't identify it, you need some help, just leave a comment down below or if you have any other questions, right, it doesn't have to be related to this topic, just let us know, right, because we really want to help you, right, we really want to serve you at the highest level possible, okay, and uh, you know, we don't want to just create videos which uh, we think are useful, but we want to create videos that actually really, really help you, okay, so this is uh, how you identify the corrective price action, okay, so as a summary, right, uh, I started this video off by sharing with you why you need to identify impulsive and corrective price action, right? Because impulsive price action, corrective is likely to be followed by another impulsive movement. So it helps you predict the direction of uh, the next movement, helps you to be on the right side of the market, right? I went through the characteristics of impulsive price action, which is basically you have uh, predominantly one color, then you have, you know, um, big candles, right, large candles, and the candles are closing at the high or low of the candles range, okay? I gave you some examples, and I also talk about the corrective price action, which is just the opposite. You see a mix of can uh, colors, right? You see a strong fight between the bulls and bears, so a lot of white and black candles, right? You see that the candles, the, the uh, body is rather tight, and uh, the price tends to close near the middle of the entire candle range okay then lastly i gave you some examples of this corrective price action okay so if you have any questions just leave a comment down below right so what i want you to do right now is i want you to check out the other video i want you to check out the elliott wave video which i'll link at the top right because uh, that will complete your understanding about um this impulsive and corrective wave okay so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video